Kamurocho is a dense playground, rife with danger and excitement around every corner, so it pays to be prepared. One of Judgment's major scavenger hunts has you hunting down QR codes around the game's world to access a wide range of benefits, especially if you're planning on 100%ing the game. This is meant from New Game Plus and allow us to help you on your quest for in-game QR codes. Before we begin, let's get a few things out of the way. There are up to 55 QR codes in total to scan. While 5 of these are skills that can be unlocked through the menu, the other 50 of these pertain to acquiring drone parts to assist in the drone racing minigame. So if you're only interested in unlockable character skills, check the video description for timestamps to help you get to the appropriate section that you need. The good thing is that the unlockable skills can be found and unlocked immediately. As for the other 50 codes for additional drone parts, you'll need to complete one more step. Moving forward, you'll need to first complete the Beginner's Drone Grand Prix, which consists of 5 races. Once you reach first place overall, head behind the drone racing pavilion within Millennium Tower to find a foreigner named Sebastian Hutton. From here, he'll be able to commence your quest for the QR codes and enable them to appear all over town. Please note that the QR codes do not actually appear within the overworld until you get this quest done. Now that that's out of the way, let's get straight into it. All codes are divided into six different categories depending on the parts or skills they unlock, so it's only natural to sort them the same way on this guide. So like in the Kamuro Go app, let's work our way down the list and start with frame codes. The first code can be found on the third floor balcony of a hotel found opposite the Yoshida Batting Center. Just keep a lookout for a large blue vertical sign at the front. Second code. Head to the southwestern area of Theatre Square and you'll find a sign that reads Delightful Days, Kamuro Chinamals. Keep in mind that there are two of these signs but the one on the right facing forward is the only one with the code. Third code. Head to Shichifuku Street just behind the Club Sega in Theatre Square. Look for the code within the shopfront sign's coffee cup. Fourth code. Found in an alleyway just off Shichifuku Street. Be sure to look up for a radiator adjacent to a blue third floor sign. Fifth code. Head to the Shichifuku parking lot. Look for a billboard with the English phrase freshness found in the middle. From there, you'll find a code on the top right hand side of the appropriate billboard. Sixth code. This one is tucked away within Tankaichi Alley. Start by rocking up into the alleyway just opposite of Public Park 3. From there, look up just up one story and you'd have found it. Seventh code. Walk towards Ebisu Pawn and head into the alleyway just west of the store. You'll find it on the wall a couple of stories above you. Eighth code. Head to the empty lot found near the southern entrance to Champions District. The code should be immediately visible leaning slightly to the right and a few stories up as you enter. Ninth code. This one is on the northern end of Senrio Avenue. Pay close attention to the third rung of the building wall from the northern side and you'll find the code in no time at all. As for the final frame code, be sure to focus on the southern end of Senrio Avenue and look for the Amazon's vertical shop front sign. Approach it from the southern side of the map to find the code quite easily. With that out of the way, let's move on to motor codes. For the first code, head to the side of the VR parlor and look for a billboard with the silhouette of a woman in the middle. The code should be shown on the top left hand corner of it. For the second code, check the front of the Yoshida Batting Center and look just under a radiator near the edge of the building. For the third code, head towards Theatre Square just outside the front of Club Sega. Grab your drone and ascend to find the code on the middlemost face. For the fourth code, 
quickly make a 180 turn and head towards the southeastern part of the theatre square. You'll find the code perched just above a darts bar billboard. For the fifth code, near the Charles Arcade, a little opening can be entered from Park Boulevard Alley. Follow it to find the next code just above you. For the sixth code, locate where Little Asia used to be and look for the large white and yellow sign that's half broken. You'll be able to see the code a few stories up if you came in through the southern entrance. For the seventh code, check the parking lot on East Taihei Boulevard just south of Champion District. It is found to the left of the red ticket machine. For the eighth code, Halfway across Pink Street, keep on the lookout for a yellow sign that reads Hyper Win Game. The code is shown slightly to the right of the sign. For the ninth code, check out the back area of New Serena. It should be sitting just above and slightly right of the stairwell entrance. For the final code, the neon-lit sign adjacent to Don Quixote at the Nakamichi Street entrance has the last motor code tucked away behind it. Get nice and close with the drone to scan it. Next on the list is propeller codes. For the first one, head to Children's Park and locate the code on the closest edge of the park's bathroom facilities. For the second code, this one's hidden quite nicely on a radiator behind Koi Bride. Be sure to bring the drone out and ascend over the building to get to this one. For the third code, zip on over to Kanrai and pay close attention to the vertically set shop front signs hanging off the right hand side of the building. The code should be on the vertical sign closest to the ground. For the fourth code, take a trip to Popo on East Shichifuku Street and turn the corner into the neighbouring alleyway. The code should be tucked away just behind the nearby Popo sign. For the fifth code, this one should be visible as soon as you enter Supon Street. Look for the black shop sign that reads Red Zone 24 and you'll find it without any issues. For the sixth code, head to the main entrance of Kamado Theatre off the corner of Taihei Boulevard and Theatre Avenue. It should be slightly elevated and to the left. For the seventh code, start by walking past Bartender and sticking to the left of the street. The corner where Little Asia starts should have a sign with the code present and ready for capture. For the 8th code, walk towards Club Sega on Nakamichi Street and veer slightly north to a shop front by the name of Le Milieu. The code should be on the sign just above it. For the 9th code, head to Sushi Jin. The code should be slightly to the left of the store's sign. And the final propeller code, walk to Le Marche and check the blue sign a building away for the final propeller code. Now, welcome to the halfway point with turbo codes. For the first code, this one's a couple of stories up behind Club Sega at Theatre Square. The second code, the large advertisement board for the curry house on Shichifuku Street has it located right in the middle.
for the third code, this one's found on a third floor connecting bridge to the VR parlor. This can be located fairly easily when arriving from the theater square area. For the fourth code, check behind the sign found at the western entrance of Champion District. It should be tucked away on the left hand side. For the fifth code, this one is a bit tricky but manageable. The code is within a drop down sign in Commodore Theatre, but since you can't deploy a drone from inside locations, step outside the entrance, deploy the drone, and fly it inside to capture the code appropriately. For the sixth code, just past New Serena, a blue and white snack bar billboard should have the code on the top left hand corner. For the seventh code, start at the front of Bartender, make a 180 turn and head towards the truck with a blue tarp covering the back tray. The code should be located just above the truck. For the 8th code, this one's found right at the front sign of the Yagami Detective Agency. You can't miss this one. For the 9th code, head towards the front of Kyushu No. 1 Star and head around the corner. You'll see it as soon as you encounter all of the Manhattan Lounge Bar signs. For the final turbo code, this one's tucked away quite nicely and requires a couple of steps before you get there. First, head towards Cafe Alps on Nakamichi Street and head towards the two back doors. Turn right once you're in the alleyway and stick to the right hand side. Follow the path to the end, turn around and it should be on a radiator a few stories up. Don't forget to use that drone. And now for the last 10 of the drone bunch, ESC codes. First code, head behind Yoshida Batting Center, stick to the left of the street and look behind a vertical sign that reads Hotel Modern Square. It should be near the bottom left hand corner of the sign. Second code, walk down Park Boulevard, a block away from the Charles Arcade, and be on the lookout for a black and white sign printed entirely in Japanese. Focus on the rooster just above the entrance to find the required code. For the third code, adjacent to Millennium Tower, head over to Bantam and focus on the right of the main sign for the code. For the fourth one, head inside the Millennium Tower and head straight towards the lower floor in the middle. You'll find it on the drone atop the drone racing kiosk. For the fifth code, locate the top left hand area of Champion District. From there, the code should be located just behind the blue and white colored sign in around the corner. For the 6th code, adjacent to Wild Jackson on Tankaichi Street, look for a radiator between two signs that read the word SPUNKY. The code should be there. For the 7th one, head to the corner of Taihei Boulevard and Nakamichi Street. The electronic billboard on the southeastern corner of that intersection should have the code located just above it. For the eighth code, the corner of Pink Alley harbors the next code. Be sure to look dead ahead when entering from Senrio Avenue. For 
For the ninth one, make a beeline for the Pink Street entrance on the southernmost part of the overworld map. From here, walk past and look behind the entrance gate to find the code. For the last drone code, head to the infamous Kamarocho entrance on Tenkaichi Street and look behind it like you did with the Pink Street entrance. It should be on the other side as you enter. And last but certainly not least, here are some skill codes required to unlock some of the best abilities in the game. First, head to the interior of the Yoshida Batting Center. As you enter the southern door from the main entrance, look immediately to your left for a series of posters, one of them containing the code for Blessing of the Wind God. For the second code, take the elevator to the Kamaro Theater roof. The doors can be located just off Theater Avenue. Once you're up, head directly forward until you come to a screen door, red vending machine, and most importantly, a poster containing the code for Dire Determination. For the third code, return to the doorway that has the spunky signs adjacent to the Wild Jackson near Taihei Boulevard. Take the lift to the second floor and follow the hall around the corner to find a scannable poster that will unlock EX Tiger Dances with Crane. For the fourth code, Head back to the empty lot near the southern entrance of Champion District. Instead of looking directly forward, take a right immediately upon entering the lot. Take the drone upper floor and scan the window poster to unlock Tiger Drop. And for the final code, head towards the Yagami Detective Agency and look for a white car parked in the alley nearby. Vault over the car to access an alley, where the poster and subsequently the code is found directly on the wall next to it. This code scan should unlock EX Light Bullet. And that just about covers all scannable codes available to you in Kamarocho, and by extension, Judgment. For more Yakuza reviews and guides, be sure to like this video, comment, and subscribe to us here at New Game Plus TV. Thank you very much for watching.